I think, because jazz used to be popular, you know, and I think that one of the reasons why um, the popularity has dwindled is because I think some of the music is just a little too hip for its own sake. Um, you had guys like Cannonball Adderley, I mentioned George, uh, Wes Montgomery, Miles. These people knew how to play for people. I mean, I think one of the things that has hurt the music is that um, a lot of people are listening to, they're letting the critics define for them where the music is going. A lot of critics seem to be, <laughs> they seem to be attracted to, 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 uh, to things that are dissonant or out for out's sake. And a lot of musicians are in the poorhouse because they're trying to appease these critics. And you know, people come out to hear you play. I mean, they don't want anything. They don't want to sit there and try to, uh, you know, try to figure out what you're doing. Um, no one should have to have to have to have to strain to understand what's going on on the bandstand. I mean, you mean people want to? They want to feel good. I like playing for people. Uh, one critic uh, wrote something about me once. Um, he said that, uh, well, you know, he's a, he's a good player. He, he he liked what I did. He loved my music, but he said something about well, he, but he he won't challenge you. And I'm like, well, you know, I don't want to challenge anybody. I'm there to engage people. I mean, I'm not there to try to educate anybody. I mean, I mean, it's a given that I'm good at what I do. Just look at my track record. I played with Sonny Rollins, Jimmy Smith, Ron Carter. I played with a lot of a lot of greats, but. At the same time, I don't feel that when I get on the bandstand to play, I should let my skill get in the way of the music. And you know, I want to reach people. I'm there to engage people. I like to play pretty things. I like to play things that feel good. Um, and I think that's one of the things that and that 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 needs to happen. You know, jazz needs to uh, players need to f focus more on melody. You know, I mean, I, I like dissonance, don't get me wrong. I like dissonance, I like to play the out, weird, crazy things, but I don't care how much of an artist you think you are, we're still in show business. And if you want to uh, continue to work, you gotta, you gotta play for people, man. And there's a way to do that without dumbing down the music. It's already been proven that you can keep the music accessible without dumbing it down. It's already been proven. That's just my, that's just my take on it. This is Russell Malone, guitarist and I rock jazz.